Hi friends, this is Natalie Adele dropping in. And in this video, I wanna talk about this concept of digital detox. Now, last week I talked about digital burnout and the signs and symptoms of digital burnout, which results from too much screen time, too much internet, too often we're available, right, to everybody in our phone and social media and Wi-Fi and all of it. So, digital detox is a simple practice, a simple solution to digital burnout. <laughs> and so like any practice, there's a wide spectrum of how little or how much you can really dive into this concept. But essentially, digital detox is giving yourself any period of time without being on a device. And that device could be a Kindle, it could be a phone, it could be a laptop, it could be a TV. Woo, I was gonna say pager, but those don't exist anymore. It could be an iPad, right? And so giving yourself time analog, disconnected, unplugged from technology. Now, what are some simple ways that we could do this? One, go for a walk with your dog without your phone, meaning you don't listen to a podcast, an audiobook, you don't FaceTime your mom, you just go for the walk. No phone, no phone, leave it at home. How does that feel? It could look like maybe three times a week when you take your lunch break at work, no phone, no phone, no screen. And so no phone doesn't mean my phone's on my desk but it's turned upside down. No phone means my phone isn't even within eyes reach or hands reach, okay? Inaccessible to me while I enjoy my meal. Another one I love practicing is when I'm reading a book no phone. I notice sometimes I'd be reading a book and I'd be also checking my messages and then I'm like not fully in the book. So giving yourself, you could set a timer half an hour to read at night or throughout the day or on a Sunday without a phone. It could look like maybe you have kids, right? And maybe every Monday you say, you know what guys, put a basket in the middle of the table and say, you know what? Phones are going in here. Mondays are tech-free dinner dates, you know? So there's lots of different ways you could go about it. It could look like the first 15 minutes of your day, you don't check your phone. There's so many ways you could practice a digital detox, and I want you to start in a way that's small and realistic and feels like an edge, you know? If you are constantly near and accessible to devices, this is gonna be challenging. But try it, you know, set something realistic for yourself. So right now I'm at a point in my journey where one day a week I digital detox, meaning I unplug the Wi-Fi router, turn off my phone, I am disconnected. And once a month when I have my menstrual flow, I am unavailable for like three days. Now, I don't have children, I work for myself, I have certain luxuries that allow me to do that. But what I want you to know and understand and take home from this video is these little pockets of peace. So again, lunchtime at work, tech free, walking your dog, tech free, the first 15 minutes of your day, tech free. These are the things that make the biggest impact because we end up with this web of technology that we're just totally tangled up in and available to all the time. And so giving yourself a half hour walk without your phone, how does that feel? Ooh, what comes up in the space? Let's have a dialogue about that. This is really important. What happens when you're not available for 20 minutes? Right? What are the inner scripts that are running? So digital detox, any period of time that you intentionally give yourself throughout the day, throughout the week, with no technology. Let me know how it goes for you and any ways that you digital detox. I'd love to hear. Ciao for now.